Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little Gymshark review for you guys, but it's not going to be a certain collection, it's not going to be leggings, it's actually going to be sports bras because as a lot of you know, I am a bigger chested lady and I obviously need higher support in my sports bras, so I really wanted to try out Gymshark's low support, medium support, and high support just to see how much of a difference there actually is and if the high supports are actually like as high as they say and if the low supports are actually as low as they say because they could actually be a medium support and what have you. That is the plan for today's video. If you like these reviews be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and we are just going to get started with the low support sports bras. So for the low support I did only choose one bra and I went with the speed sports bra because it has a higher neckline, it has a zipper in the front, it has an adjustable clasp and I thought that was really interesting to see as a low support so I wanted to see you know if it's actually low support or maybe it's medium or high. That's what I did, I picked it up in two different colors and in two different sizes because I didn't know if I was a medium or a large in their bras. But this here is the size medium. I'll bring it up close so you can see the color. So it's like a taupey color. This is going to be a try on so I'm going to insert a clip in a second with me wearing this bra. This one in a size medium was quite tight, I'm not going to lie. So it didn't exactly fit the way I would have wanted it to. This bra is low support, high coverage front zip. It has removable cup pads, racer back. Uh, fastening in the back which I usually see as more of like a medium to high support thing so that's why I thought this was really interesting it has a mesh pocket in the back which as you can see is right at the top here there's this little hole thing for ventilation and then a little pocket which is super helpful if you need to bring like a key on a run as you can see in the try on there is a logo on the chest and the material is 80% nylon and 20% elastane I really like the little details on this bra. I love that on the zipper, there's a little Gymshark logo, as you can see right there. I really like that little detail. And the zipper is very, very high quality. It doesn't like halt while it's zipping or anything like that. And the size large, I grabbed the color Winterberry. I really, really love this color. Anything burgundy, red, just those colors to me are so beautiful, but this is the large. And as you can see in the try on, the large definitely fit me a lot better. Both of these did give me quite good compression which means pretty high support honestly and would I recommend this bra? Honestly I think I would. This bra is $50 Canadian so it's definitely up there but I can honestly say that this that this color and the size large for me was a very good fit and I would probably purchase this again. Editing mode Emily coming in to say that I totally forgot to mention with the low support speed sports bra I hated the cut pads. They did not have the like preformed cut pads and they looked so silly inside so I would just take them out and then I would like this bra a lot more but yeah Gymshark for bras like that you really shouldn't put like just removable cut pads just saying. So I think that this bra is actually really good. I'm gonna just say right up front there are not very many bras in this try on that I genuinely think I would buy but this is definitely one of them. So. I do really like this bra, I love the cut. If you don't like high neck, you can always just like wear it unzipped and that's good too. So that is the Speed Sports Bra. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but it's the Speed Sports Bra if you're wondering. On their website, just search that and you'll find it. This sports bra only comes in taupe, black, and the winterberry, so please keep that in mind. There's not too many options. I wish it came in a white, that would look really, really pretty. But yeah, so that is a really great sports bra. Considering it's low support, I find it interesting that on me it fit like medium to high support and my measurements are in the description, but I am like a 34 double D. So, I think it should be in the medium support section, but that's just me. Next up, we have a medium support bra. Again, I only bought one of these. I ended up buying every single one of their high support bras because I really wanted to test those ones out to be 
just like sure if they're actually high support but yeah this is a medium support bra this one here is their Razorback training sports bra I got it in lilac in a size medium and in charcoal in a size large this one surprisingly surprised me I was very skeptical because this here is the lilac one it's really hard to see the color on camera but it's a beautiful lilac purple um, I was a little skeptical about this bra because it has like weird built-in cups it seems like I don't yeah I'm pretty sure you can't take those out so you can kind of tell yeah, see they're built in which I actually do appreciate but depending on if the cup size is actually true to you The cups might look kind of shaped weird on your boob So just keep that in mind like this bra has to kind of fit you almost perfect in order to look natural looking and for me the medium one actually fit better than the large so they both fit this sports bra is 55 canadian i noticed that their low support ones are typically 50 dollars medium support is 55 and high support is 60 dollars so as i said this one has sewn in cut pads it has a higher neckline not too high like the other one but definitely higher so you're not going to get too much cleavage and there is fabric reinforcement for extra support it's a racer back with elastic straps with adjusters to the back which is really great there's a hook and eye back fasten just like the other one there's also also some mesh vent ventilation in the back. There is heat sealed branding to the left side, so there's the little Gymshark logo there. And the material is 78% polyester, 22% elastane. So this one comes in lilac, pink, charcoal, and black. Again, no white, which is a little bit unfortunate. But yeah, here is the charcoal one in size large. This is the little branding as I showed in the try-on, but this one here just fit me a little bit too weird with the cup pads built in, which is why I like the medium more. I would wear the medium on like the like stretchiest class, if that makes sense, like on the last clasp there, rather than attempting to wear the large on like the middle or end clasp, just because like, once again, the cup pads do kind of fit strangely. But again, I really appreciate all the detail that Gymshark has been putting into their sports bras, and I really appreciate that they are trying to come out with more like high support ones. I would honestly say that the low support one that I tried on before was more supportive than this bra, but this one still had really good support. It was super comfortable. All of these bras are super brushed and soft to the touch. But yeah, just the detail, like I love the mesh detailing on the racer back part and the adjustable clasps are key. For anyone with a bigger chest, this is a really great option for you if you enjoy the lilac, the charcoal, the pink. There's a few more colors here and only for $5 more. So that is the Razorback training sports bra. And it's funny because all of the high support ones I actually didn't like on me. So we're gonna get into that. But that lilac one is also one that I would repurchase. So those are the only two that I actually like from this review. I'm just gonna say it now, but Nonetheless, I just wanted to review to let you guys know how I felt, so let's get into the high support bras. So first up for the high support bras, we have the open back training sports bra, and I really do like the style of this one. Unfortunately, it just didn't fit me right, but I did get it in a medium in the Claire. I love this color that Gymshark came out with. I seriously am obsessed with it. Like when their training collection came out and this color came out, I really loved the training leggings in this color, so I was hoping this was gonna fit whether it was in this color or in the white because Gymshark does not have a lot of simple white sports bras. I don't know if I'm the only one who's noticed this, but like I really wish they would come out with a few more simpler items instead of all these like really bright like blue, pink, green. Like I love the colors, but sometimes you just want to wear a colorful legging with a white sports bra. And anyway, so I'm happy they have a few now. But yeah, I really love the back of this bra. I love that it's a racer back with the adjustable straps there and the clasp. So because this bra is a part of their high support collection, it is $60 Canadian. I'm sorry, I don't know the conversion in American, but it is cheaper, so that's a plus for you guys. It has preformed cups just like the other medium support that I showed. It has an exposed elastic underband. This is one of the things about this bra that I actually didn't like very much. The band, like it says, is pre-exposed and so it kind of digs in more. It is a literal elastic and there's no like soft um, finish on it. So I didn't really like that about this bra, but nonetheless, let's just keep going. There is a mesh panel on the front of the bra. There is the adjustable straps as I already mentioned in the back. There's a cushioned hook and eye back fastening just like every other bra I've shown. Heat sealed branding to the left side which will be shown in the try on. And then the material is again 78% polyester and 22% elastane. So this bra is basically the same material as the medium support bra that I showed except honestly the biggest difference is the elastic on the bottom to me. That just did not feel comfortable. It was digging in. I do have a little bit of a belly, so maybe if I had a flatter stomach, that would, you know, make a difference. I don't really know. But I would say out of all the bras, 
This one might be my least favorite. That is one of the high support bras. The high support open back training sports bra does come in four different colors. So it comes in the claire, it comes in a white, and then it also comes in black and taupe. And then the next one, so I had really high hopes for this sports bra because I loved the style of it. It is their mesh neckline training sports bra. High support once again. I got it in a medium of the Dusty Sage. And can we... Okay. Can we just... Thank you. <laughs> can we just take a moment and look at this color? That is beautiful. Am I right? Like, I love the colors of this bra. So I got it in the medium in the Dusty Sage. And then in a size large, I got it in the blue stone color. So I just love the look of this bra. It's so nice, super soft like all the other ones, and it actually does have a finish on the elastic rather than just like no soft finish. I, I just don't get why they didn't add that on the other bra. Maybe I would have actually liked it if it had that. So for this bra, again, there's preformed cups in the inside of the bra. There is rings to apex, which means adjustable elastic straps to loop through the rings. I don't really know what that means. There's a razor narrow front shaping cut out in the back. Again, a heat sealed branding to the left side, which you will see in the try on. And the material is 78%, oh, it's not polyester this time, it's nylon and 22% elastane. So this bra has a lot of really great qualities. This entire front part here is completely mesh. It is super soft to the touch. I will bring it up so you can kind of tell, like it's very brushed, which I like. And then the straps here are all adjustable. And once again, there is the adjustable clasps there. The one thing I really do want to mention with this sports bra is it could have been a close winner for me, but on the sides, which you'll see in the try on, my boobs were kind of spilling out a little bit in both sizes. Honestly, I felt like the medium was really, really tight, but it did cover more, whereas the large was like too big. So it honestly, it like spilled out even more on the sides because there was like more room, if that makes sense, because the cups were too big. I would say I have a love-hate relationship with pre-built-in cups because if it doesn't fit you exactly, it just makes your boobs either look weird or your boobs fall out of them. So just keep that in mind if you're gonna buy any of their high support bras, every single one of them has pre built-in cup pads. And I think that's a really high quality production that they've been doing but it's just like hard. I feel like if they're gonna do that, they need to actually make them like cup sizes, not just small, medium, large. So that's my recommendation. If anyone from Gymshark sees this, highly doubt that. But for the high support mesh neckline training sports bra, this one comes in four different colors like the other one. So it has the dusty sage, the stone blue, and then it also has a smoky gray and a black. So again, there are the neutrals, but there's also some fun colors as well. And because it's a part of their high support collection, it is $60 Canadian. I would make it more of like, you know, 32A, 32B. Like I would do something like that instead for the high support. If you're gonna make pre-built in cut pads, that's just my recommendation. And overall, I just wanted to say that I think all of these bras actually had pretty decent support like when they were in my proper size. So they compressed me enough and when I like jog on the spot, as you see in all the try-ons, like my boobs still move, but they weren't as like, you know? So <laughs> that was really good. And that was surprising for me with the low and the medium support. They honestly held up really well and they were my favorites. I didn't even like the high support bras. I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that because obviously if something's supposed to be high support. I feel like these bras, because they at least had adjustable like clasps on the back, should make them at least a medium to high support. So like I said, the low support speed sports bra in a size large for my 34 double D breasts was a very, very good fit. And then also the medium, also the size medium lilac and medium support fit me very well as well and provided really great support. So very odd review. Honestly, I, I'm a little surprised of how this went. I thought that I was going to really love that like neck mesh line one, but I just didn't. The cut should have been a bit more this way, but it kind of just like cut off your boobs. I really do love both of these bras and I would highly recommend. I will link all of them down below and I'll put in little brackets, you know, like I recommend, I don't recommend. The pricing, like I said, ranges from $50 Canadian to $60 Canadian, depending on the support that they make it say. And I think that obviously these bras are cheaper than the high support bras. This one is 50 and this one's 55. So I would definitely recommend going for those ones if you still want good support, but more of like a cheaper alternative. That, those are my thoughts on Gymshark's bras. 
It's really hard to find a good high support bra for reasonable money. So I know that these ones aren't exactly cheap and I'm sorry about that. I will link down below a few bras from Napoa Gym that I genuinely love and fit me very well. If you have a bigger chest, you know, you can go search there too. But Gymshark does have good options in their low and medium section that are not even low support. It's kind of weird. I feel like they should be moving that around, but I am very happy with how far Gymshark's come in their high support section. I'm really happy that they've been more inclusive lately. I think that's it for this video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I provided enough information for you guys. If you have bigger chest, even a smaller chest, you know, if you get your size, like the Speed Sports Bra and this Razorback Medium Support Training Sports Bra will still do you well as a good supportive sports bra. You don't have to go into the high support to actually find high support. So weird. Guys, I hope that this video was helpful to you and I hope that you enjoyed watching. If you want to see more reviews from me, please give this video a huge thumbs up. Comment down below any ideas you have for me, any brands you want me to review, and I will consider it for my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.